All right, everybody, we're ready to go. All right. Okay, guys. Okay, we've had uh, four four good days in camp. The guys came in uh, really in pretty good shape for what you can do in the off season. Now we need to get we need to get in football shape, but uh, team's ready to work. I uh, thought today was just okay. Um, a little a little sloppy, ball on the ground a little too much, some uh, some offsides issues, but. Uh, you know, day four of camp, and uh, uh, so we're so far away from where we need to be. So much work needs to get accomplished between now and the time we break camp. It's just it's another day, all right? So um, we'll be off tomorrow and then back at it on Thursday and uh, ready to get ready to get back after these guys. Uh, I know we had uh, good news for Gary on yesterday. Uh, that was pretty much anticipated by us. Uh, so I'm just happy we can now turn our full attention toward football. And I know he's relieved. And, um, you know, I know you're going to ask the question about Donald, and I'm going to focus on the guys that are here. I spoke enough on it last week or four days ago, five days ago. So um, I don't really have much to add to that. So questions? What do you think about the fact that you, your defensive coordinator, and DPM all played Yeah, I guess uh, you know, maybe I can talk Reggie out of retirement. I don't know. Um, you know, it's uh, you work you work to put a football team together, and um, I think we've, in a strong way, addressed a lot of different positions. We really haven't really haven't had attacked that one the same way. That's not to say we won't, or that uh, it's just you can only do so much each year. And, that's just the way it's worked out. We've got a collection of young guys right now that are eager. Uh, they're they're learning. They're developing, and you know we're going to work with these guys, and we'll find out. But uh, I think the fact that we you know have identified a really good edge people like Khalil and Bruce, I think it starts there. I think you work with corners and guys that can cover in the secondary, and we've identified some of that. And I think you know linebackers also on that list that just maybe hasn't got checked off the same way other positions have yet. How do you combine the two elements of building on with confidence of what you guys accomplished last year, but then assuming nothing as you come into camp this year? Yeah, I think, you know, first of all, you know, good or bad, what happened in the past is, is left in the past. I think for us each year you have to come in and reestablish who you are, uh, the things you believe in, learn how to sacrifice, get yourself in shape. And it's not just physical conditioning, it's mental, emotional conditioning. And um, that's what we're here to do. You know, we're working hard at it. Um, you know, we're just getting started here in camp. It's, it's very early in camp. We've got a long way to go. But uh, I like the spirit of this football team. We've got, we've got a good group of men, and, um, and, and we know we've got a lot of work in front of us. You, you, uh, you say you won't talk about him specifically, but in your experience, are there certain positions that you don't want anyone missing time but could miss time more than others, certain guys that you would be okay in missing time? Or are, you, are there positions that you need right away to be in? Um, I'm going to focus on coaching the guys that are here. Yeah. What have you seen from uh, Shalik as far as growth from year one to year two? He's yeah. making a jump at all. Yeah, I think Shalik. Um, I think he's you know good young player that is being asked to do a lot more right now with Bruce. You know, uh, working his way back, and so he's getting a lot of a lot of exposure and experience right now. Obviously, um, the, all the all the experience of last year. You know, you build on that as well. So I think I think guys like. You know, Carl Joseph, Hottie Ward, uh, you know, Shalik. I think those guys all benefit from now having a little a little experience, a little wisdom. Can you uh, give me your thoughts on James Kowser what he's like as a football player, a guy yeah. your experience Yeah, James is really, you know, really one of the you know, smarter football players out here. I mean, he's, he's very instinctive. He's got a natural feel for pass rush. You know, I like him. I mean, he's he's a he's a guy that works hard every day. You can count on him. Very dependable. You see, Jelani Jenkins is a guy that maybe can step in and do some of the things that Malcolm Smith did for in the last couple of years. That's that's the hope. Yeah. You know. Um, yeah. So I think you know Jelani, you know, adding him uh, for the will position, uh, give us some uh, veteran presence there, and uh, that's what he's getting every opportunity to do. When it 
it comes to Markel, Jack, how steep is that learning curve for a, a fifth round rookie, especially to come in there and, and be the guy in the middle, yeah. the quarterback of the defense when he's a rookie? Yeah. Well, you know, um, some guys are natural leaders. Some, some guys uh, are intelligent enough to handle all that. We'll figure that out as we go through camp. I think he's done, done a pretty good job thus far of showing that he's a pretty good learner and um, he's got a good presence about him, you know. So, you know, we'll see how that grows and, and whether or not he can earn that. He's going to get every opportunity to compete for it. I know that he definitely sees himself as that guy, and, um, and we like that. And it really doesn't matter once you get here how you got here. So, you know, whether he's a high picker or, or a lower pick, um, you know, he's got, a, he's got a spot here in our camp. He's got an opportunity to show us what he's all about. And um, you know, I think he's been pretty solid to start camp. Okay, I don't have any clue about the roommate thing. Um, I think, you know, looking at EJ and um, him coming here, Corderell, him, co him coming here, I think obviously there were two guys that we felt uh, could upgrade us at those positions. Corderell with his tremendous explosiveness, his returnability, and the fact that we feel like there's still a lot more to develop there from a receiver standpoint, potentially doing some other things with him. Uh, and then with EJ, um, you know, he, he had a relationship with Todd before. You know, he was selected high in the draft before. He doesn't carry all that burden with him. He just comes in here with a chance to compete and develop, not worry about all that other stuff, and just think about growing every day as a player. The fact that the two of them are coming together and spending time getting on the same page is great. But it's not the main thing for me because, you know, we want all our guys to kind of grow and, and build relationships. So um, I'm happy that's the case. I'm happy we have both of them. You see Carl Joseph uh, put a whole offseason in and then stack a few practices together. And then every day we're here, it's like the last guy out of that field house working and doing extra stuff. Yeah. What, what do you expect to see from him based on you know, last year with the knee? It seemed like he never yeah. really got to hit a stride the way he would have liked to. Yeah, I think, I think you're saying it exactly right. I think we're seeing the same things. I mean, he's, he's a tireless worker. Um, there's no shortage of energy for him and a desire for him to want to improve and, and become a really good football player. Uh, we, we liked a lot about what we, what we drafted, you know, and I think he's healthier now and we're getting a chance to see more of, you know, who he is and what he can be. Uh, as, as he's healthier and has, has a little bit of experience. Does it ever happen with a guy, not him or anybody else, that a guy's working so hard afterwards that you got to be easy? You know, we're just four days in the camp. You know? <laughs> nah, that's I mean, I, I mean, I suppose it could be, but uh, <laughs> that's rare. <laughs> that's rare. We, we keep a good eye on him, so we're not going to let him go too far. That's a pretty good depth at receiver. Um, at the bottom of that, um, Mickens and Grant, what have you seen those guys so far? Well, they've been they've been really strong throughout this off season. I think uh, you know both KJ and and Jadon, um, obviously being with us last year on the practice squad, developmental squad, and developing, and um, you know, a little different in how they do it. Uh, Jadon, a smaller, quicker guy with some returnability, and uh, and KJ, a bigger guy, uh, and uh, and able to get in there and do some some of the blocking and things we some of the dirty work we ask our receivers to do. So, but they're both doing a great job. You know, they're both both in the mix. We have a we have a good solid group, good solid group of wideouts, and much like any everywhere on our roster, we're going to let these guys compete and let it play out. Considering how you have to rebuild your special teams with all the players that you yeah. lost, how big is this Holton fit, fit into your plans in terms of assuming he can build on what he did last year? Yeah, it'd be natural for for him to expand his role a little bit, take some of the experience he had last year and uh, help us make an even bigger impact on special teams as well as invo being involved in the offense. So that's the, that's the next step for him. That's the, that's the progression we're looking to see. Well, you mentioned that we're, you're only four days in, but today was just okay. Yeah. Given the spirit of this team, are, is that a little disappointing or kind of on part of what you anticipated? Well, it's not, it's not good enough. Not good enough. That's all. That's all. I explained it to our guys. It's not, not what we need to do. We need to come out and practice crisper, sharper, cleaner, uh, football, but it's one day, and just like if it's one period, you, you learn a lesson, 
I'm, I always shoot straight with our guys. Uh, don't always share it with you, but just gave you a little synopsis from what, what just happened. Injury question. Do you expect Damari back on Thursday? Or? Injury. <laughs> Come on, you know how I am on injuries. We'll see. We'll see. All right. All right, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it.